Hello everyone! Here you see my build I made for the contest. They have a special demo contest where you can upload any build you want. And I submitted this build. And with this build I was very fortunate. Uh, in the daily ranking I made it to the third place of the best submitted photos on this day also with a tie to the second place don't know why I'm on the third place and he's on the second but uh, what can you do and right now while recording the video let's scroll down I'm still at play 70 which is really good very happy about that and I don't know how they will define the first place in the end or what will get shown in the end maybe the top hundred or something like this um, but I'm now very happy that I'm under the top 100 of over 10,000 submissions yeah I couldn't have asked for more and also thank you everyone who has voted for my build I posted this in the community tab. Maybe some of you have seen it and voted for me. Thank you very much. I'm very happy about that. And please, someone explain me the purpose of pixel art in a 3D building game. I don't get it. You have this huge open space where you can build any structure you want and you build something out of paint which you can do in any Windows paint program I mean look at this uh, what's it called great drug just take a picture from the internet scale it down and then you just lay down the pixels you see there and you're done I don't get it I'm sorry I'm not sorry <laughs> but first I want to show you how I built the floating platform. So the first thing I did was just finding a good spot to lay down the first block. I was looking at a, at a good center point where you have a good view in every direction. So you just jump and place a box below you. When you are in the height you like. So I wouldn't build too high because you can't build any higher than uh, 64 blocks. Yeah, I found out the hard way. So I, I think I built like 30 blocks high. And from there what you want to do is just lay down some blocks in a kind of circle pattern. Wait, I need to check again. Yes, it was like this. And from there what you want to do is just go around the pattern. Whoa. You create it. And follow it. Uh, we'll make it now with another block. This is basically what I did. Once, once you're finished, you just borrow down. And then, this way you have your floating island. I also left the <laughs> the hole and the bottom, but you can't see. So, we will continue our video with the already finished uh, basic platform. 
so here we are again. I already put down uh, most of the grass blocks, which were de very difficult to get up here. So you basically have to carry each one of them, at least at in the demo, up here all by itself. So you equip the gloves, pick them up, and put them down here. I can show you now which path I I used for around 160 grass blocks. Yeah, it was uh, it was fun. Uh, no, it wasn't. And <laughs> and yeah, I did this like 160 times. Also, I needed to harvest the grass blocks from all around the island, especially from the desert area. So everywhere you see a palm tree growing, you can expect some grassy patches. Also, I tried to make like a clockwise uh, pillar arrangement. At each full hour, you would have like a pillar. Later I changed that, so only like eight main pillars are visible, so at the north, east, west, south, southeast, southwest. So it's more like a compass now. The bridges I created with those blocks which are kind of rounded, which gives them this nice look. First I tried it with the fence posts, but it didn't look right because they weren't quite at the edge and the path was too narrow.
and I removed the whole dirt blocks. change them for ice blocks because it's hard to get water up here in the demo that's why I laid down some ice blocks but from the distance I mean it only has to look good for the photo uh, from the distance it still looks like it's water because it's nice and blue has a bit of the texture to it Yeah, there were those leaves, which were kind of in the mud. And those look a bit like sea roses, which I like very much. Also, I placed down some ivy. So plants out of the water would grow. So it doesn't doesn't look like it's freshly built. It's a bit old. And after I did that I put down some some grass and some plants and some rocks. A bit random. So they don't look like symmetrical or like a human placed them somewhere. So they need to be placed like they would occur in nature. So after I created all the pillar platforms and the pillars itself, I tried to differentiate them a bit. I destroyed a few blocks so only dirt is left. Some pillars uh, are like destroyed at the top, so the pillars withered over time. Yeah, the roof part later was a bit hard because uh, my blocks were running out, and so I had to improvise more with wood blocks and stuff like this. That's why you see those woody patches there on the roof and yeah yeah I kind of wanted to create like a temple for a god on a floating island also the idea behind the floating island is first it wasn't possible in Dragon Quest Builders 1 to build that high so I wanted to make something where you break the borders the boundaries of Dragon Quest Builders 1. Maybe you have watched Dragon Ball. Also they got the art director from Dragon Ball. So I wanted to make something in this style. That's why I kind of took inspiration from the God's Palace from Dragon Ball. What it was like in my imagination. I think the, the real one is m much bigger. But I think this will do just fine.
was kind of inspired by this. Maybe it was the hair of the builder. The Super Saiyan hair. Which inspired me to this. But I'm pretty happy with the outcome. And the most important part is you need to get the lighting right. You need to have the right angle for your photo. And the lighting must be perfect. So I want to have a, a little angle to the picture and I wanted to show that it sits in the air. Also the mountains in the back, they're kind of giving the island a frame. And yeah, this was the build for the floating island. I hope you liked the video. I hope you had fun. And yeah, I'm now going to play some Dragon Quest Builders 2. The full game. Finally it came out. And see you soon. I will upload the next video hopefully later or tomorrow, but then uncut first. So, see you. Bye. So yeah, thanks again. Have a nice day everyone. And I will see you again soon. Bye!